I'm resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft and will be selecting 20 players to build a team. For this challenge, I need to select a player from the top star group of the skating category. Once all the selections are made, we will assemble the team and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. As I'm sure you know by now, this is the point where we randomize a team and find out who we're going to be using. So let's do it. For today's draft challenge, we are going to be representing the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. There's just one little thing we gotta do before that, and that is tell Jabroni to not touch my lines. We're definitely, without a doubt, getting draft pick num... Number seven. Number seven. It's going to be a high up pick. We are 19. Okay, I was way off this time. I imagine there's quite a lot of players with five star skating. Oh, never mind. There isn't. There's also only two defensemen, Gerard and Maury. So we will hopefully get them. We'll see. I'm going to start the team off with Will Nye, the hockey guy. 92 overall. That is solid. This might seem out of left field a little bit, and that's because it is. We're going with Marty, the one-man party, Natchez. 87 overall is our second pick. Well, there goes one of the defensemen with five-star skating right before us. We only have from Duchesne and up, so really, it is very slim pickings. I wonder if I'll be able to get both of them. Kairu would probably go first, so I'm gonna take him and hope Ehlers is still there, but to be honest with you, I don't think he will be. To my surprise, he's still here. Nikolai Ehlers, 85 overall. It'd be nice to get Gerard and Duchesne. We'll see what happens. Who would go first between these two? I'm thinking Gerard just because he's 25. Duchesne's making two milli less, but he is seven years older. So let's try Gerard. Okay, we're gonna scoop up Duchesne and then I need a goaltender. Why do goalies always go so fast, man? Were Talbot's numbers good last time we picked him? I don't remember, but I'm gonna risk it. And now for four and a half star, we only have five players. So clearly skating is a tough category. It's a very tough call between these two. Huberdeau is making a lot more. He also has two more abilities. I might be able to get both of them, honestly. I believe Taylor Hall would go first so I'm gonna take him and then we'll come back for Hubes if he's still here and it turns out he is I'm gonna risk it for another round and go for Ryan McLeod and now he's gone I feel like it was one or the other though if I took Huberdo McLeod would have been gone and we would have had a player that's four overall better but hey Leave me alone, all right? We do have these two, but you know what? We have one defenseman, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to filter. We have a bunch of four-star skating defensemen, which is nice. Let's acquire Orlov and then come back for Petrie if he's still available. I think he should be. Famous last words, I know. Jeffrey is still here. 85 overall. Welcome aboard the Mighty Ducks. Matt Dumba's a defenseman. <laughs> yeah. No way, is he really? I don't even know what I was trying to say there. Maybe that he's a four-star skating defenseman, but either way, he's 83 overall. This completes our top four. I'm in. That was just a little sneak peek at what it's like editing these things. These two are still here. We'll go with the 83 overall first, and then we'll scoop up Kapanen. Maximus Passiaretti has four-star skating, and he's 84 overall. We could use him. Cap space isn't a problem, so why not? Give me the man, the myth, the legend, Marc-Andre Flower. Athanasiu is really fast, so I feel like I would be doing him dirty by not taking him. He's making a lot for an 80 overall player, but again... We're chilling. The guy has four star skating, which is in the top star group, and he is 83 overall, which is as good as we're gonna get right now. Will seems like a pretty speedy defenseman, and we need one left-handed defender, so fits the bill, mostly just because we have the cap space to do it. Five million dollars for an 82 overall player. Let's send it. The draft is complete. Don't have a lot of faith in this team. I'm gonna keep it real, which could be a good thing. Normally I look at the team, and I'm like, yeah, this team is winning the Stanley Cup, start engraving our name, but then we suck. Let's enter the franchise mode, put the lines together, and see if we have any chemistry. Here we go, moment of truth, edit the lines. Will we have at least decent chemistry? Yeah, that's okay. Just looking at the lineup here, this team does look fast. I'm slightly concerned about our defensive chemistry. For no reason, apparently, because that is... Unreal. I'm just checking the franchise mode handbook and right here it says we take that. We don't have a sniper on our first two lines, which could be a bad thing. Ah, whatever. I'm not going to think too much into it. Who has the better face off between Natchez and Duchesne though? It is Matthew and he is center slash right wing. So I'm going to just make that little sub. We might have the oldest goaltender duo in the entire league, but I have faith. 44 wins. Billy has the most points with... 
88. Getting his jersey number. Pretty good little start here. 4, 1, and 2. And now we can't buy a win. Finally get one against San Jose, but we are brought right back down. There has to be some underlying thing with the simulation engine that once I figure out, we're going to be insane every time. Oh, this is a pretty interesting trade. I'm not going to accept it, but we don't normally get trades because I have the star players only thing on. We're bringing it back around here a little bit. Third in the division at the moment, which is nice. Oh, let him cook. What happened here? We're just going off all of a sudden. Not gonna make any trades, but let's see who's available just for the fun of it. We have EK65. He's probably a great skater. Brandon Montour is available. Bo Horvat, Chris Kreider. Uh, hello? I do not recall giving you permission to put these two on the block. We do have some trades to announce. Montour and Fast headed to Carolina in exchange for two firsts. Wow, that's actually a massive trade. Why are first round picks getting thrown around like candy at Halloween right now? Two going to Montreal in exchange for Kreider, Mata, and a third. Barring something tragic here, we should be in the playoffs. 41 wins. We've got like six games left. I don't know, just tried to count them real quick there. All right, two, win two of them. Win the last one, you won't. Already clinched, it doesn't even matter. And funny enough, that's the team we're playing in the first round. Pretty tough division here. We had 95 points and finished fourth. Florida gets the President's Trophy with 114. We finished in the entire league ninth and we were fourth in our division, so that is crazy. 18th place, Carolina Hurricanes managed to get in. Who finished dead last? We have to know, it is the Detroit Red Wings who had Larkin, Tuck, and Claude Giroux. Mark Stone on the second line, they had Quinn Hughes playing with Brent Burns, Varlamov, in net they don't have a bad team really i don't know what happened there golden knights were fifth and that's our first round opponent nylander definitely carried the team he had 89 points and then a massive drop off to 65 for Duchesne. we have 63 what was the other members of the first line even doing should i maybe change up the lines a little bit bump up Duchesne? i don't know how that will affect the second line cameron you got to do better than that an 899 absolutely disgusting flower had his guy small sample size but to be expected he is just unreal. And a very solid outing from Sam Girard, 54 points. Nice. Swayman led the league with 46 wins and he had a 921, so an extremely solid season out of him. Connor Ingram has to be the best 85 overall goaltender I've ever seen. I don't know how he continuously shows up here. Not much to report for defensemen. We had two with 75, Darlene and Norrissey, and then Miro had 74. Makar all the way down here with 67. The Art Ross is going to Kyle Connor, who got 53 goals and 111 points. I thought he was going to win the Rocket Richard as well, but Pasta came in out of nowhere and won by a landslide. 66 goals and only 32 assists. We're first checking out Florida, the President's Trophy winners. They have Clayton Keller, Overchicken, and Johnston. It's a good first line. Perfetti, Couture, and Marchenko. That's actually clutch. They have a veteran here to help out these two young guns. Victor, far and away, their best defenseman. The next closest is Gouli at 83. And as we saw on the stat screen, Swayman is their goaltender backed up by Dalia. And now it's time to look at our opponent that seems to have an even better team. Turbo, Rupe, and Rantanen. Ugh. Great second line with Besser, Roslovic, and Bjorkstrand. I was gonna say great top four, but no. Great top six. Their entire defensive core is good. And they got Pionk. Spencer Knight as their goaltender. We're in one here. Call me crazy. I'm gonna do it. Moving Duchesne up to line number one. First three games, everybody knows the rules by now. We start off with a big loss and then another big loss. Oh, wow. We're getting outworked. All right. Put us out of our St. Louis, Missouri. They do just that. A sweep. That was fun. All right, so the team that put us out is in the Stanley Cup Final against the Rags. First line for New York consists of Jimmy Stu, Sebastian Ajo, and Seth Jarvis. They reunited these two through a fantasy draft. Their second line is good and ready to send people to the hospital. John Carlson on the second pair is extremely bold. Can't say I support that, but I mean... They got to the final, so what do I know? Logie Tom is their goaltender, backed up by Ivan Fedotov, and he's 80 overall. Let's go one game at a time here and see who is going to be the Stanley Cup champion. Right now, it's definitely looking in favor of the Rangers, but the Golden Knights coming back a little bit here. Will they tie up the series, or will the Rangers take a commanding lead? It is a best of three. Wow, this would be the comeback of the ages. They did it. 
They actually pulled it off. The Calgary Wranglers would be the Calder Cup champions. Nate just did well. Pacioretty was somehow point a game in the playoffs. I don't know how you pulled that off, but I appreciate you, even though you were attached six. Both of our netminders got lit up. Those stats are horrendous. Nothing to report on defensively either, except for maybe a dash 10. And minus nine, Petrie. I'm not letting you go under the radar. Ludicrous playoff run from this guy. 934 save percentage. You don't see that every day, folks. Pionk would be the leader for defenseman with 17 points. John Carlson on the second pair had 16 in 23 games. That is very impressive. Dougie Hams down here. Point a game. Pretty good. If the Conn Smythe goes to Rantanen, I'm going to throw up. Because Sebastian Aho has a 32-point run in 23 games doesn't even matter that he didn't win the cup. He had his guy. Or how about prime candidate right here? Number two, 934 state percentage, 208 GAA. How you doing? We have a division this time. The Art Ross goes to Kyle Connor, but the Hart Memorial goes to Pappy. Miro gets the Norris. Kyle Connor scores the Lady Bing. Bedsy gets the Calder. Moment of truth. That is actually the worst thing of all time. This trophy is meaningless in this game. With his incredible season, Sway gets the Vesna and the Jennings. We've got a Bill Masterton awarded to Zadorov. Jack Adams assigned to Douglas. Sidney the Kidney gets the Selkie. Matthews with another and Pasta with that incredible 66 goal season gets the Rocket. Here's your playoff tree. Didn't go exactly as planned, but you know what? We made the playoffs. I feel like we did pretty good overall, and considering I saw the draft summary and thought we were going to be poo, not too shabby. Also, the team we lost to did go on to win the Stanley Cup, so just throwing that out there for whatever it's worth. If you try this draft, let me know how your version of it went, what players you got, if you were able to make it further than me in the playoffs. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be fire, and on that note, I'll see you soon.